Welcome to Hayes Post News, I'm Becky Kaiser. While the Ellis County Courthouse and Law Enforcement Center are remodeled, a process that's going to take about a year, inmates in the Ellis County Jail will be housed in temporary jail pods. Discussions are underway with the DRC group and Jails on Demand to rent several mobile modular jails. The steel structures, which are configured in compliance with the American Correctional Association standards, will be placed on the former NEW call center property. The courthouse offices will be temporarily housed in the vacant NEW building. Sheriff Ed Harbin says Ellis County is waiting on cost estimates from the company, which he expects to have within a couple of days. The pods will basically be a jail cell. They'll have bunks, uh, toilet facilities, shower, uh, you know, kind of like a little motor home without all the qualities or the luxuries of a motor home. Uh, and they have to be pretty sturdy, you know, need to be made out of metal. Uh, some of these guys can get pretty destructive. The jail pods are moved by semi-trucks and will be hooked together in a configuration designated by the county. Sheriff Harbin says a security fence will be installed around the jail pods. Some inmates will be housed out of county. Harbin has told county commissioners in recent meetings he expects there will be some inmates no other county will accept, and those inmates will be housed in the temporary pods in Hayes. The health clinics operated by Hayes Medical Center are now including more questions to be asked of patients during examinations. The questions asked by the healthcare professional, has anyone hurt you, hit you, threatened you? Are you in a safe environment? Well, they help identify abuse victims of all ages. Nurse Carol Groen says the questions have been required at the hospital for years and were just recently implemented at Hayes Med Clinics. So asking these questions is the first, you know, first uh, part of awareness of trying to get the patients to understand that we're here to help them. If we're able to identify someone and, you know, maybe not the first time or the second time that they're coming into their health health care provider for a medical issue, maybe that fourth or fifth time, maybe after they've developed a relationship with that doctor or nurse, they might feel more comfortable in, in um, sharing the information. If they know that they're going to be consistently asked the question and that um, the person on the other end is willing to hear the answer that they're giving and to be able to share with them advice on how to get help. I really feel like victims will be more willing to, to share what they're experiencing in their lives. If an adult answers yes to any of the questions, Groen says police will not be called unless the victim wants to report the abuse, but it is the first step in referring the victim to resources for help. If a child or a senior citizen is suspected to be a victim of abuse, a health care worker will look for additional behavior signs and may ask the parent or caretaker to leave the room. Eligible voters have two weeks until October 14th to register to vote for the November 4th general election. Advanced voting in Ellis County is scheduled to begin October 15th. It will run through noon November 3rd. There are 18 voter registration outposts throughout the county. For a check of those and more information, look at our website, HayesPost.com. A new government report says this year's winter wheat production in Kansas is the lowest level since 1989. The National Agricultural Statistics Service reports winter wheat production is estimated at 246 million bushels. That's down 23 percent from a year ago. Farmers harvested almost 1 million acres fewer than they planted, and yields were also lower, averaging 28 bushels an acre. Faster than a rising heating bill, more powerful than a winter blast, wiping out inefficient heating systems in a single call. It's Steederman! Steederman saves homeowners money every day with Lennox Total Comfort Systems. Receive up to $1,000 in rebates with the purchase of a Lennox Total Comfort System from Steeders. From Hayes to Sterling, Ellsworth to Kinsley, and every home in between, call Steeder Contractors and Great Bend, your Lennox Total Comfort Systems dealer. Thank you, Steederman, you're our hero! The service you deserve, the quality you expect. Service Master Clean, Service Master of Haze. Everything we clean, satisfaction guarantee. And we clean everything with Service Master of Haze. Service Master, Service Master of Haze. Hi, Jim Cleland, Cleland Pharmacy in Waukini. Yes, we're all watching TV, and yes, there are a lot of ads for Viagra and Cialis. A serious problem if it happens to you. But here's what's really wrong. You get the prescription, you go to your pharmacy, and it's over $900 for 30 tablets of Viagra. Here's an answer. 90 tablets of Sildenafil, 20 milligram, 
Same as Viagra, 8387. Come see us, we have an answer. Stop! Where are we going? The Sternberg! Don't get left behind. We're waiting for you here at the Sternberg Museum, where there's always new opportunities for... Discovery Under the Dome. For all the reasons, in the end, you do it for them. Advanced funeral planning. It keeps your family informed, creates memories the way you'd like them crafted, and it makes sure everyone is prepared. Pre-planning. It just makes sense. Brock's North Hill Chapel, Hayes. Stream easy with Eagle High Speed Internet, your ticket to great entertainment. Streaming all your favorite TV shows, movies, and more is easy with Eagle Internet. Playing games online or watching your favorite YouTube video is a breeze. At Eagle, there are no data caps, no overage charges, and no worries. Get 15 meg internet for only $39.95 per month by texting Stream Easy to 313-131 or call 877-61-EAGLE. Start streaming easy with Eagle High Speed Internet today. A cluster of rain and thunderstorms move in overnight. will be windy and cooler with a low 51. Our wind turns north 15 to 20 miles per hour. And some of the showers and storms will linger into early Thursday morning. We clear out. It'll be breezy, cool with a high 66. Upper 60s again on Friday. From the Eagle Stormwatch Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Dan Holliday. And that's Hayes Post News. I'm Becky Kaiser. Thanks for watching. The Eagle Community Television Oil and Gas Report, brought to you by WW Drilling of Waukeny, with six rigs serving Central and Western Kansas. The Eagle Community Television Oil and Gas Report, brought to you by WW Drilling of Waukeny, with six rigs serving Central and Western Kansas.